Hey guys, so I believe that this current wave of AI, how AI is being rolled out right now, is not gonna last and it's going to fail. And the reason why I believe that this is the case is that not only is it not gonna serve humanity's long-term interests, but also that of many AI companies, the way that they're rolling out the technology now, because they're doing it in such a way that they're rushing, they're very much in a haste to really get this out as quick as possible, equating human progress with the rate by which they're just like getting all this stuff out. And the thing is, I think that is going to cause them to fall down because the CEO of Microsoft himself has described the pace that his company is implementing AI as being frantic. And all these other companies are doing the same thing. When you think about it, have you ever done something in haste before and realized that you've regretted it? So when you are like in a rush to do things, you're not even seeing the forest for the trees anymore. Your mind's just fixated on trying to just, you know, problem solve and get this thing done. But the thing is, when you're in that mindset, you're not going to even think clearly anymore. And I think a lot of these AI companies right now, when they're in that frantic state of mind, they're getting trapped into that. So another thing that these AI companies are telling us is that we have to follow them or we die. So they're acting like what they're doing is like a force of nature, but it's anything but a force of nature. It's technology. This is human made. All the implementations of AI out into the world are all human made. It's all coming from collective decision. So you have to know that AI is not powered by anything but public opinion. Once public opinion does not support AI, it's not going to be developing further. But I want to emphasize that I am for AI. I'm just against how it's being rolled out right now. I think it's definitely not going to be helpful for humanity or these AI companies in general. So I believe what the solution is, is what a lot of people are saying, is to be able to take a collective pause. And a lot of people think that this is not possible, but I believe that it is. It depends on how you do it. And I'll talk more about that here. I'm going to talk more about a collective slowdown. But let's get back to this idea of a pause. Pauses are great. A lot of creative people will tell you it is when they take a pause from the work, when they come up with their most creative, elegant solutions to their problems. It is when they step away and they take a look at what they're doing, they actually come up with something that is greater. And I believe that when AI companies could step back, they could create a more sustainable and also ethical AI that won't be just slapdash, has, haphazard, or thoughtless. When you're so fixated on solving a problem, you're not going to be able to see the big picture anymore. So what's that going to lead to? Well, I think a lot of AI companies are looking at the problem of using AI to benefit humanity in a very narrow way. They think unconstrained speed equals more capability of AI more capacity for it, and more human progress. But I believe that none of this will be the case because if they're gonna just create whatever AI as quickly as they can, the AI companies are gonna be stuck with the decisions that they've made. If you implement AI or anything in this slapdash, haphazard, thoughtless kind of way, and you're just gonna not have any sort of constraints with it, you're not going to come up with a lot of brilliant ideas. It's going to be out into society and it's going to start to destabilize a lot of things. And AI companies are not going to have a solid foundation to build their um, AI from. So I think meaningful constraints is really important. It's important for sustainability for the world and also for AI. Think about it this way. A brilliant art architect knows how to work within constraints. That's what makes them be able to create really great works. If you try to make a building as fancy as possible and as quickly as possible without regards to 
any sort of meaningful constraints with re regard to sustainability and safety and all that. You may have a building that looks really impressive on a surface, but it's going to collapse. And that's going to be the same for AI and also how it could potentially hurt the world as well. A lot of AI companies are doing an all out offensive when it comes to AI. They just want to implement it as much as, as possible before people have the ability to respond to it well. But that's not going to work as a long term solution for the world and also for them too. Think about it this way. You cannot play an all out offensive game of chess. If you do so, you're going to lose. You have to be able to know how to do offensive and defensive moves in a very thoughtful kind of way. So when these AI companies do things without regard to ethics and sustainability, it's going to bite them in the back. So they're going to take it. I mean, they are taking advantage of people in sweatshops in Kenya and also the Philippines. They're using the work of unconsenting artists. They're affecting education as well. So ChatGPT just comes in mid-year in the middle of the school year and in the AI companies are like, hey, you just have to adapt to us. You just have to do this, do or die, just adapt to us. This is inevitable, right? But that is not the case. So how AI affects the world ethically, you know, that may not be enough to motivate people to push back against it. But the issue here is that this is happening very quickly, it's affecting a lot of different people uh, across different areas of society in many different kinds of ways. So. When it comes to the Industrial Revolution, right, there had been pushback against unethical practices of the companies and companies do get in check, right? But, you know, it's a relatively slower process. But this, all this is happening all at once, affecting, going to be affecting many factions of society. And that assumption that, oh, this is just going to bring more jobs, people are going to look at the facts, they're going to look at the figures, and they're going to see maybe... And this is just a prediction here. I'm not like an expert when it comes to the economy, but they're not going to see that job recovery. And they're going to see how this is affecting the environment. And then we're going to look at the facts and figures when it comes to education too. Again, I, I believe in an unbiased look at the facts and figures. So if it proves me wrong, that's fine. But education, yes, you could use the technology, ChatGPT, for example, to be able to aid in your educational development. But anecdotally, it seems like most kids are using this to cheat. It's just such an easy crutch, right? And this is very heartbreaking. This is something that really, that we value, education. Education um, is something that is a pillar of society. And we're just gonna let these AA companies dictate where that goes and say, oh yeah, we just have to just adapt to the technology. We're not even having uh, enough of a conversation around this. So I believe that there's going to be like a backlash all at once, possibly. And that's going to create a lot of limitation for these AA companies down the road. If they're more willing to work with people within the society and not just people who are just interested in the companies, but work with everybody, they would have been able to prevent this and create a more sustainable AI. And it looks like when I'm talking about how there's going to be a lot of limitations on AI in the future, this comes from how AI is being rolled out right now. And there are there's theories out there, and I believe that they are pretty legitimate that AI is going to eat itself because there's going to be so much AI content out there in the internet AI is going to end up ingesting itself in order to, because there's not enough human content in the internet. So AI is going to just keep ingesting itself. And the more it does that, the more skewed it is. And over time, it's going to de degrade in its quality. So that's not going to be something that the AI companies would want. But if they're going to just go all out full speed ahead, that's what they're going to invite because when people push back, they want, they're going to place limitations and people are not going to want to put their work online. And, you know, if AI invades people's privacy, again, 
that's going to cause problems with for the AI company at companies as well. So in order to build a solid foundation for AI, it needs to include very much so thoughts about human dignity, safety and care for the future. And these AI companies are going to sort of be on board with that or have that in mind. But you're not going to have that done unless you really put that forefront in mind and actually start to slow down when it comes to this AI development. And there's things that we have control over. So I'm really talking about an AI slowdown. We don't have to just jump on board with what these AI companies are saying. And, and they're saying, do or die, just follow us. You have to do this, right? The thing is, if you do that and you just buy into that hasty, frantic mindset of the AI companies, you might just fall off the cliff alongside with these AI companies. They're going to go down a cliff. And if you integrate your material, if you integrate your company too much with the AI, uh, then it's going to go down the cliff with them, right? So I want everyone to make a decision on their own, what's meaningful to them, what would be a, you know, a meaningful amount of integration. I know this is not an easy decision to make. So everyone just really, it's, you know, this is something for you to make a conscious decision of how much do you want to integrate. And the thing is, there's a precedent to developing things in a sustainable way. So the government is very keen on this when it comes to this, our safety, for example, the safety of cars, or like when you go to a rock climbing gym, there's this basic foundation of safety. And the thing is, when you have that in place, People are going to trust the product. They're going to go to it, right? Let's extend that idea of sustainability to other areas that are just as important. Psychological, societal stability, environmental stability, and so on and so forth. So th these are my two cents when it comes to AI. Again, I'm not against AI, but I just am very concerned about how it's being rolled out right now.